for Tuesday approaches, Democratic presidential hopefuls are turning their attention to Utah. Today, former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg stopped here to rally the troops. Fresh off a contentious Democratic debate, Michael Bloomberg's first campaign stop is in Salt Lake City. Now I know what it's like to be a Utah fan in Provo during the Holy War. Bloomberg says the winner of Wednesday night's debate was President Trump. And that's who Democrats should be unified in defeating. Donald Trump is the world's biggest schoolyard bully with no respect for civility, for decency, or facts or honesty. Referring to himself as the un-Trump, Bloomberg says he can beat the president. It won't be easy, but I know we can do it. Because unlike other candidates, I don't just talk about things. I have a record of reaching across the aisle and getting them done. Another candidate hoping for the chance to face off with the president is Tom Steyer. I don't think there's any question. Whoever the Democratic nominee has got to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mr. Trump on the economy. ABC4 News caught up with him from Las Vegas, where he is on the ground hoping for a strong finish this weekend. We're going to make America healthier, richer, better paid, and we're going to grow faster. But first, the candidates have to convince the party to give them the nomination. And as one of 14 Super Tuesday states, they are competing for the 35 delegates up for grabs in Utah. Because we believe no state is too red for the Democratic Party.